Closer to the um, start of the first uh, final practice, just um, how excited are you to get it going? Well, I look forward to getting on the field with the guys. They've worked extremely hard this summer, and it's always it's kind of like Christmas, especially with some of the uh, recruits we signed to get out there with them for the first time and see how things go. But, uh, you know, really excited. they got a, a lot of positive things going on. And um, you heard this report, uh, Fisher DeBerry, how important is it for guys in your position to give back and help out others? Well, there's no question, number one, the state of South Carolina, number two, people in your community, and you know, kids are very important to me. So Sheldon Brown's a guy that I've got a lot of respect for. Uh, I've talked to him several times. I've never met Sheldon, to be honest with you, but a guy that I've admired from afar and what he's done with Brown's Corner when he started in 2011. Um, and that, you know, Coach DeBerry's done a fantastic job of giving back to communities and to people and charities in our state, and, and that's important to represent South Carolina. You're sharing the state tonight with Coach Sweeney. How much have y'all had interaction have y'all had since you took this job? Not a whole lot. Uh, we, we, we had to deal with uh, for Coach McKissick, and that's probably been about it. But, uh, you know, this is about the state of South Carolina and promoting our state. When, when Dabo took over was when South Carolina was beginning their rise. Now. You're taking over when Dabo's team is in the middle of a good stretch. How important is it to recruit in this state and kind of get a foothold against what they've done? Well, again, I'm, I'm worried about South Carolina. I don't worry about anybody else. And what we need to do to be successful, it's very important for us to recruit our state and identify the guys that we feel like fit into our program. How important are these charity events to you personally, just to be able to kind of give back to the state? Well, I think as much as anything, the platform you have as a head coach in the University of South Carolina is, is a huge responsibility and something that I take uh, very seriously and, and want to improve our state and improve the communities, and that's why I'm involved in the Brooklyn Lakeview Empowerment Center to be able to improve the help the kids in our area. You talked about the show and him being here in the honor that he's receiving. How much, he was saying to us that he appreciates how much you're involving all the former football players. How nice is it to hear it from their angle that they're appreciating how much you're incorporating them? I think that's part of your job as a head coach is to continue to give back to those guys and what they've done for your program and uh, certainly have created a lot of positive feelings for us since we've been in Columbia. As you head into fall practice, if there was one thing you want to see your team do better than they did in the spring, what would it be? <laughs> Well, how much time you got? <laughs> but uh, you know, again, our, our guys' effort and uh, you know th those things, the buy-in of what we're trying to do has been outstanding. They've been very pleased with that, and so our guys continue with that attitude. We'll see what happens. When you look at the quarterback position, you, you have legitimate competition. You have three guys that are very much in the mix. How important are the first two weeks of practice? Is there a time frame that you like to look at? Is the first two weeks someone needs to start showing? Every meeting is important. Every practice is important. Every rep is important. So uh, you got to have an everything is important attitude around our place, and that's what our, our guys have certainly bought into that. Um, but every rep is going to be critical for those guys. There's no timetable. Uh, it's going to do what's best for our football team. And if it's playing one guy, we'll play one. We'll play two. We'll play two. We'll play three. We'll play three. Are you comfortable with Williams and the guys you have in that running back rotation? Well, I think, you know, again, I think we have some ability at the position, but those guys got to show some consistency over a duration to play extremely well, and they haven't done that so far. Thanks, guys. You've got to go. All right.